This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. I'm continuing to tweak the pose of my Allison figure here. So I'm going to use inverse kinematics to help me along just a little bit. So I'll come up to the figure menu and I'll turn inverse kinematics back on for the left leg and the right leg and for the hands left hand and the right hand and if I just change the view slightly I'm going to move her legs over into a slightly more realistic position so just using the translate pull tool here I'll just actually hold her foot the foot itself if I can find it it's a little bit difficult with the sandals added so I'll just move her foot over slightly here and this foot as well so I'm not dropping them right through the floor as you can see the legs are following in quite a realistic motion here so I'll try and select the right leg or the right foot again a little bit difficult in this view so I'll try it here there you go and I'll just pull the leg over slightly I want to make her hip position a bit more realistic as well. As you can see, she's sat in quite an upright posture here. So leaving the kinematics turned on for the hands and the feet, I'll come into an outline view. As you can see, I've got the slight problem with the capri pants not showing in an outline view here. So to make sure I'm selecting the right part of the body, I'll come down to the body parts here and I'll actually select the hip from the actor menu there it is that's what I want to move so I'll just move it back slightly and then I'll use the rotation tool to make the hip position itself backwards slightly until the shirt appears just over the tops of the trousers there that's a bit more realistic and then I'll select her abdomen and bend her forward if you look carefully there you can see that the hands are not moving I'm moving her chest section now and I'll just bend her neck up slightly as well if I come back into a textured view, now inverse kinematics has helped me set up the pose that I want. Now I'm going to move the hands out into position as well. I'll use the translation tool here for that. I want her hands to be somewhere near the edge of the chair. So I'll just keep rotating and moving the body parts until they're in the right kind of position that I want them to appear. Again, I'll just pull that over here as well. I need to move this hand back slightly. The elbow's not bending quite the way I want there. So I'll just move the hand down into position. As you can see, it's put quite a realistic curve on the body as well. I'll tweak some of the leg positions as well to make that a little bit more realistic. I'll also move her hips over slightly. And I'll see if I can rotate them just a little bit, still using the inverse kinematics. That's kind of more like the pose I want. That's slightly better. And again, inverse kinematics makes the other parts of the body move as well. Let's see if I can just tweak the leg over here slightly. No, it's not going to let me do that. I'll try the rotate function here. No, that's not too bad. That's pretty much the effect that I wanted. The feet staying in position. And then once I've got the approximate pose, I'll actually turn off inverse kinematics and then I can tweak the poses a little bit more. As you can see there, it was kind of making the body parts pull into positions I wanted them to move into. I've turned off limits as well for the moment in case that gives me some odd results. But I'll select the Andrea figure again, or rather the Allison figure. I'll select the body, and then I'll come to the figure menu and turn off inverse kinematics for all the parts I turned on earlier. And that'll make the further tweaking of the poses a lot more simple.